So this week I updated my YouTube channel's cover and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to design exactly the same cover for your own YouTube channel step by step using Adobe Photoshop. So if you want to learn how I made this cover for my channel, keep watching this video. Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new tutorial here on my YouTube channel Nimul TV where I post lots of tech reviews and tutorials on how to grow your YouTube channel every single week. So if this is your first time watching my videos, hi, this is Nima and please consider subscribing, turn on your bell notifications and by the end of this video if you found value in it, please make sure to like and just destroy the comment section because that really means a lot to me. And as always, there's a good news for you guys, below in the description I've included the 100% free uh, YouTube channel cover template in PSC format for your photoshops. Just download it, open it and once I'm starting to create my uh, cover along with you guys, you can use the same template and just take the steps with me so you can create your own cover together as well. All right, so once you open the template, uh, you can see there are two different groups. The one which is for text, make sure you just get rid of them before saving your project. And these are just the areas, these are just guidelines. So I'm gonna add the vertical ruler by just dragging this and putting it in the middle. And then I use the rectangular shape tool to just drag and drop and create uh, like a half uh, rectangle I'm just gonna double click on the shape I'm gonna choose a yellow color uh, let's just go here okay this is good actually let me make it more yellow yeah this should be fine once you get your preferable color just you should be all set any color would do so I'm gonna make this because I like that I'm just gonna uh, name this let's say left back right click I'm gonna duplicate it and then just drag and drop it on the right half of the page and then I'm just going to double click and just ch change it to dark gray because I like the combination it's more like the color that I want to have for my channel and once I'm done I'm just going to open my profile picture and use the gray scale mode to just change it to black and white and then use the apocalypse uh, selection tool hold shift to have a full circle and once I do this, I go to the uh, selection, drag and drop it over my project. And then I just turn on the uh, transformation guidelines and, and then I just make it smaller. And then I drag and drop it right in the middle. And once I'm done with resizing it, I'm just going to be double clicking on the layer. I want to add the stroke like the border. So let's just name this as profile. And I double click. I go to the stroke, you see right here. I just choose one. I'm just going to choose this one. I'm going to just increase the size. Just do the one that you like the most. And then I'm going to change the color first to the yellow one. Hit OK. OK. Then duplicate this layer. Right click. Duplicate layer. OK. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the, uh, just double click, go to the same menu and change this to the gray one, to the other color. Once you hit OK, right click on it. I want to remove half of it, convert to smart object and then just use the eraser, click on it, hit OK. So it's going to be a normal layer. And now I use the selection tool and remove the other half. So it's going to be the opposite of the colors. So, OK, now we are done with the picture profile. I'm going to be writing down my YouTube channel's name in the font that I usually use, the bold font. So I'm just going to type in uh, Nemo TV and then just uh, adjusting the size and color. I'm going to change it to the same gray on the other side. I'm just going to make it larger like this. Yeah, this is good. And then I just uh, move it a little bit lower. Yeah, this is good. I mean, make just customize it however you want. This is how I mean, I do it simple. And now I'm just going to add like the slogan or description of the channel that is tutorials and vlogs on weekly basis so i'm just going to go with uh, tutorials and then i'm just going to put slash and then just vlogs every week i'm going to make it smaller let's do it way smaller than the name of the channel okay and make sure that everything is within the mobile view version okay you want to have the name and those important stuff in the middle. 
Okay, now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna add those pixels on the right side of my uh, profile picture. I just do the rectangular, I hold shift to create a squ uh, uh, square. And uh, once I do this, I double click to change the color to the same yellow. And then I'm just gonna quickly use control C, control V to just keep creating multiple squares and just put them randomly on the right side. So I'm just gonna put it on fast mode to save time. Okay, once we do this, I'm just gonna create one, show the transfer controls, make it smaller and exactly do control C, control V and just, just duplicate them and just put them randomly on the right side to create that pixely effect on the right side of the profile picture. Okay, once you're done, I'm just gonna go to flaticon.com I'm gonna be looking for um, like icons of camera and stuff, but make sure that you add the attribution on your uh, YouTube channel's description because you see if you want to use them for free, you need to uh, attribute the credits to the creator of that uh, icon. So make sure you do that. And I'm just gonna drag and drop the PNG file that I downloaded here, resize it, double click it, not on the name, on the right side of it to change the color to yellow. So I go to color overlay, change it to the same yellow, and then I just move it to the right side. Let's just put it here. Let's rotate it a little bit. Yes, this is better. And then I, I'm just gonna put it in the middle instead of some of these squares. So let's move this here. Whenever you wanna hide the guidelines, just hold Control H if you're a Windows user. I use Control H a lot when I wanna Okay, let's download uh, another one, like a film or movie kind of. Let's just put video. I want like the play, uh, not this one. Oh, this one is good. Yeah, this one. Okay, download the PNG free. Uh, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it. I had it from before, so I just drag and drop the files. Uh, if you drag and drop it on your Photoshop, it's the same. Use these movement selection tool, drag and drop it over your project. Again, double click on it, make it yellow. Cover overlay, yellow. Let's make it smaller. Uh, Control H to display the guidelines and put it there. Let's add another one, to be honest first. Uh, I want to have something about YouTube. So I'm just gonna type in YouTube. Okay, let's see what you have flat icon. Uh, yeah, this is the typical YouTube logo. Free download. I had it from before. It's right here. Drag and drop it over the project. Do the same double click on it. Make it uh, the color overlay and it's yeah, the yellow is already there. Make it smaller. Let me I want to put it like closer to the profile picture. I mean the yeah, drag and drop it here. I'm gonna move some of these scores. Yeah, let's move this one. Control H to hide the guidelines. I wanna tilt it a little bit. Control H to display them now. Tilt it, put this closer. Mm, okay, yeah, this looks really good now. Let me see if I add another one here. This should be fine now. Okay, now it's better. Add another one. One more here. One more here. Yeah, this is this is more crowded. I, li I like it this way. I mean, it's a personal preference, but you can just make it more crowded with these squares, which are cool. Okay, once you're done with putting this and you have enough number of these squares and this looks really good, I'm gonna add the subscribe thingy. Uh, I'm just gonna use the rounded uh, rectangular shape thingy. Just drag and drop it. And remember to put it on the right portion. You don't want that to show up on the uh, mobile view. So I'm just gonna double click, change the color to red. And then I'm just gonna go to the type tool and just type subscribe, all caps. The color of the font is gray. That's why I cannot see it. So I'm just gonna change it to white. Uh, hit OK. Okay, I want to change it to the bold font, the one that I use for my channel's name. It's the bold font. Yeah. Okay. Let me just drag and drop. I mean, just drop it a little bit bigger and put it over the red 
rounded rectangular shape that I just created okay perfect now let's me actually add uh, the turn on the bell notification with the normal font the one that I use for tutorial vlogs uh, and turn on the bell select all I'm gonna choose the San Francisco one let's oh it's all caps okay hold on uh, let me make it yeah bell. okay I'm just gonna move it below make it smaller Mm -hmm. now let's just move it below the bottom now i'm gonna be selecting uh all three like the subscribe the red one and this turn on and uh let's just create actually let me make it smaller and once the size of everything is good i'm just going to be selecting them all and just rotate them a little bit so i'm just going to select uh this one the subscribe yeah these three create a group out of it by holding ctrl g and then using the selection i'm just gonna rotate it now i want to add an arrow i'm just gonna go to flat icon again and just uh, look for an arrow which is pointing downwards so it's showing them the subscribe link uh which one should we pick let's pick this one this one which is yeah this one is good Let's just download the PNG format. I'm just going to do the same. Drag and drop them. I have the file from before. Drag and drop them over my project. And let's change the color to... Let's just rotate it, make it smaller. And I'm going to put the arrow here in this tiny square because I want it to show up on tablet. Because it's pointing to the subscribe, I mean, which is usually there on the full uh, view version of the YouTube. Let's just move it to the left. Let's double click on it because we want to change the color. So this is the group, which I have nothing to do with. I'm just gonna double click on my arrow and let's just move it to the left. So we see, we can, yeah, I think yellow is good. White should be fine too, but I'm just gonna stick to yellow. And so I, I, this is all we need, okay? I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG uh i'm just gonna save add jpeg let's say nemo tv let's say cover just save it and then go to your uh, youtube channel customize channel i just click over here once you're there uh i'm gonna go to the branding which is right here and change the cover just upload it and just hit publish oh you see the subscribe is covering this it's easy go back just select these subscribe thingies and just move them up, 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 more. I think we should be fine around here. Okay, this should be fine. Then just save it as, go to customize again and put it there and everything should be perfectly fine. Yeah, guys, that's it. I hope you managed creating your own YouTube channel's covers. If you use this tutorial, let me know below in the comments the link to your YouTube channel. I want to check all of them out. And if you had any questions, let me know below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to destroy that like button. And if this was your first time watching any of my videos, I would really appreciate you guys subscribing, turning on the bell notification. And until the next video, please be careful, take care and class.